Hi, this is Sandra Tarno with Sandra Tarno Art. Uh, we're going to be doing a video today of some cone flowers, and I've only got three little seed heads um, drawn in here, and I'm using a 300 pound um, Arsh paper. I use 300 pound a lot with my um, landscapes, so I had some spare pieces I thought I would use for this floral arrangement. Uh, today we're going to be using Viviva uh, watercolors. Uh, this is their 16 palette um, colors and they're very bright, vibrant and light fast and they sent me these as I am an affiliate of theirs now and I wanted to try them out. And I've painted one, but not on video. And I did a swatch last night. These are their original 16 colors. And they have watercolor sheets, which they sent me and a sketchbook. But today we're gonna be using the 300 pound paper. Last night I also did a swatch card on the 16 colors. They've got Scarlet, um, Amaranth, Orange Blossom, Mango, Deep Yellow, Raw Sienna, Rust, Burnt Umber, Apple Green, Deep Green, Vine Green, Shallow Blue, Royal Blue, Deep Blue, Violet, and White. Um, we're going to be doing the Echinacea um, cone flowers, and it's going to be pretty much uh, wet on dry. Uh, no wet on wet today. I'm using um, my number 10 Rosemary & Co. Pointed Round and my number 2 uh, Snowdrop Pointed Round. They got a really good point. Um, I love how these brushes um, perform. And if you're looking for brush these brushes, I am an affiliate of theirs as well and there'll be a link in the description below where you can get these. I use their uh, spotter brushes as well as their pointed rounds and they're amazing, uh, last forever. Um, also, if after you wa watching this, you wanna give these a try, um, below there is a link to their website with um, A code at the end which will give you 10% off your full order like I said they ha these are made out of um, India I didn't say that but they're made out of India they're uh, watercolor paints they're made by uh, women and um, it's got their story on the back it's it's good to take with you uh, plein air painting this is a um, piece here that you can mix your colors on, wipe it off. You can see the water on there. And uh, you can wipe it off and reuse it. And all you really need is th this, a sketchbook or paper and water, and you're ready to go um, outdoors and um, enjoy your time. Today I may be mixing a few colors in on my um, ceramic palette just because I am at home and uh, try that but uh, if you like what you see um, I would suggest giving them giving them a try uh, they're a great company to do business with uh, the cork um, palette is biodegradable they also have adult coloring books which intrigues me I have not ordered that yet but I I want to because I do a lot of doodles and doodling is the big thing right now so um, if it's something you want to try, click on the link below and you can get 10% off and um, I think it's very worth it. I think their minimum, um, not their minimum, their, well yes, their minimum to get free shipping is $30 and I think this is $25 and you would get 10% off. So, you know, you may want to order another um, product to get the uh, 
uh, free shipping. I'm going to switch these over so that I can take advantage of these this palette and I think you can still see it. So we're going to do three comb flowers real quickly and try these out. Like I said, they're very vibrant. You can add more water and um, make them lighter so it's to your preference. Um, I like to wipe my water off, uh, excess water off with my fingers and of course wipe it on my jeans. Um, first of all, let me say I haven't posted a video in four weeks and I apologize. Um, had a little scare. Um, I had two uh, skin cancers. One was squamous and one was basal cell. One on my above my eye and one on my arm. And actually that's why I have this on because arms are very ugly. Uh, and it'll take about three months for it to look somewhat human. So I didn't want to gross anybody out so I did cover that up. But the one on my eye, actually, unless you knew it, you would not know that I had surgery done on that. So I had to have two surgeries to remove those. Um, scary in itself. They both came back um, clear margins. The one on my forehead, they actually had to do twice in the same day because the first time they didn't get clean margins, second time they did. I'm 65 years old. When I was... 17 years old, we laid outside with baby oil all over our body to get sun, good suntans. I did it to myself. When I turned 40, I started using sunscreen, a little too late. So for all you young people out there, believe me, you will pay the price with tanning beds and um, no sunscreen eventually. But um, I have no regrets. I'm just thankful to God that Everything came back uh, clear margins, and I'm good. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to do three comb flowers. I've got my brush wet, and I want to put a green in there. And there's this olive green here. And I'm adding... My brush is wet, so I've still got some... A way to thin this out a little bit so I think we're good so I'm gonna put it right at the end of my I call them gun gum drops of my cone flower and I'm gonna rinse that out and I'm gonna get my number two round and just get clean water. And I'm going to blend this up. I apologize, y'all may hear Reba. That's our 10 year old Boston Terrier. She must see something or hear something outside. So we're just blending this up. And these are gonna be the purple echinacea. But see how bright these colors are? They're just gorgeous. So I've had the color um, watercolor sheets for a while. Um, but I have not used these pans, and I'm really enjoying them. So you want kind of dark at the bottom and light at the top. Okay, we're gonna let that dry. We can save this because we're gonna need it for leaves and stems and such. So now on our purple, so red and blue make purple. I have a violet, but in my opinion, 
it's too, it's not purple, it's violet. So what I'm going to do is take the scarlet, which is the red, red and blue make purple, and I'm going to take the royal blue and see if I can get a good purple out of here. Rinse your brush. So I've got a large jar of dirty water and a small jar of clean water. And then I'm gonna take the royal blue, which is this one, and I sprayed these paints with water. Okay, so that royal blue is very intense. Got way too much. So let's put more red. And these just wipe off. So we're gonna do that. And let's add a little bit of yellow. See what that does. So that almost gave us a brown. Let's put a little bit of violet. And I don't mind having a lot because I'm going to need a lot. Still think I need more red. So if you go the wrong way in your colors, just keep working with it. And this wipes off so you can reuse it. So I'm going to take my paper towel. Put a little bit more violet. go with that. So what you want to do is you want to make the um, petal not touch the green. Go down, press down, pull up. Go beside it, but you don't want them touching. pull up and then you're gonna go here and then these are gonna be shorter typically you don't want to go past that curve And then you just start getting shorter and shorter. Try to do them one, in one stroke. So right here, you might want to fix your ends. And you can do some in the middle if you would like because they could overlap.
Okay. So the cone heads are drying. So we want a little bit of green at the bottom. And you just want to do dashes. Now we need an orange. Um, but that's too orange. So let's add a little bit of I don't know which color the oh rust. That should be good. don't want it bright orange and we're gonna put little dots and dashes along your edge and then mix it in with the green so they're they have little spiky bits I don't know how the birds get the um, seeds out of that because they hurt So we're just gently putting our cone head in. Now this one down here can actually be a little brown. I think this is brown burn umber. And you can mix a little burnt umber with your green and orange. This is my number two spotter. So the cone heads have got um, green and orange and brown. So I'm mixing the orange blossom with the rust. And just putting the spiky bits in, leaving some empty space. If you get too much water, just uh, dash. 
dab it on your rag or paper towel. So this is the first coat. This is burnt umber. So when you do layers, it just layers one right after the other. And then we need to go back to the comb flowers. And I want to put a little um, lighter purple. And I might even add a little bit of this white to it. Let's see what that does. Yeah, I like that. It's almost like wash. I don't think it is. I know it's not, but it's acting like it. And it just gives you a... So you can go over these and get them a little bit lighter and even. Still using my small brush. Need to get some more of this. I like this little mixing palette because you can use it and then just take a paper towel or a rag and wipe it off. What I did is put a few or a couple just little short Like I said, these colors are so vibrant. There's so many applications you can use this for. Okay. Okay, and now we're going to work on Um, stems. So you come down from the center. That's why I like this brush, you have a very good point. And just remember to always know where your center is. And you 
you can put some darker green. Here towards the base. And just skip along. And then I like to put the bottom dark. So you could do the get the dark up at the top. And put the line in. Just don't fiddle. Do it and get out. So this part right here to me is too dark. And I want to try to do something to correct that. But right now we're just going to work on the leaves. So I want to get a couple of different colors. I've got the uh, vine green. And I'm going to mix a little bit of this green. And I'm going to get a little bit of yellow and mix that in there, get kind of a yellow green. So let's make some leaves. So you don't want it all to give us some kind of background at the bottom here. So I'm just taking clean water. need a bigger brush. So we're going to do some blending down in here. We don't want any hard edges, so just keep adding water and um, smoothing out your hard.
hard edges and this gives us a nice background. We don't want it to go away, we just want it to all blend together. So basically what we're doing is a water glaze. over the top of this to meld everything together, which is very cohesive. And kind of gives it that blurry look, but you can still tell what things are. We're not taking anything away. And it's not getting muddy. Because the other layers were dry. Just don't want any hard edges. So what we can do is bring this up. And then maybe we can take some blue for like the sky. Above the flowers to finish it off. So if you're gonna do the water glaze you need to be sure and cover everything up or it's gonna look weird. And just use clean water. And I'm using a smaller brush so My paper is not saturated. Now, I said I was gonna go up with blue, but after I look at this, I think I'm gonna just keep going up with brown and purple. I think it would look better. So you can just kinda of meld those together and then start bringing adding water and bringing it up so it's not the white of the paper but there's really no color there it makes for a nice background well I hope y'all enjoyed this we're uh, just about done and I promise it will not take me this long to get back to you. Uh, hopefully my health concerns are finished. Um, if you've enjoyed this, I hope you will um, subscribe and hit notifications so you can see when my next video is up. Again, if you like these colors, which they blend beautifully, they can be dark or light. Um, be sure and check in the description below and you can get 10% off. And it helps my channel out. And 
I do appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to put a few little, um, actually I think I'm going to use this color and put just a few, like maybe some kind of twig with Okay, guys, I think that's it. I thank y'all so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all are amazing. And go get you some Viviva paints. You can use the color swatches, color sheets. You can use the adult coloring books. You can use their sketchbooks. I want to try their sketchbook. I have not tried it yet. And go get you 10% off. And as they say, that is all she wrote. I say that and I keep painting. So what gets me is I think I'm done and then I get a hard edge and then I got to work to get that off. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye now.